today I'm going to harvest some seed from my Gymno Calyceum. Let me show you what type it is. I think maybe I'll just skip pronouncing it and show you what the label says. So I'm always happy when there's a label on there and um, I know what type of cacti I have. Sometimes it just comes and says cactus on it and that's really not very helpful. But uh, this one is labeled. So it, it did produce a flower last year which got pollinated and um, some time ago I, I took this off and I set it here thinking well I'm going to collect the seed from it. But um, you know, as it happens sometimes, I did forget I did that. And um, today I'm going to try to do that. So I'm going to try to do that with one hand. I'm filming. But um, what is better than one gymnocalyceum? But about 20 or 25 gymnocalyceum. So I love to grow seedlings. Not all of them make it to maturity, but it's sure fun to nurture them. And, um, you know, I always end up even, I think that's what nature does. It makes lots of seeds so that a few will survive um, and it guarantees survival. So here's my very dried out seed pod. This is what happens after a flower gets pollinated on a cactus. And um, I'm going to just try to squeeze it. It does still feel soft. So I'm going to try to squeeze out the pulp. Oh, it's still juicy. There we go. So I'm squeezing out the pulp with my left hand. I'm not even left-handed, so if it looks awkward, that's why. But right off the bat, I am seeing that it is loaded with seeds. And they're little black seeds. Once I sort of clean the pulp away, you'll be able to see them better. But let me go ahead and sort of what you have to do when you want it to dry out is just spread it out with your finger. And what happens is the paper towel, I'm doing this on a white paper towel, that's the easiest way to see your seeds. But you just want to spread out those seeds right there. And um, there we go, I'm just spreading the seeds away from the pulp. And I have shown you this before with a couple of mammalaria plants as well. But if you can see there, I'm getting those seeds separated out. And um, it's really kind of important to dry that pulp off because uh, you don't want mold to form when you actually do go to sprinkle these seeds on top of a, a medium and you're trying to get them to grow. But it seems to me there's not as many seeds on this one. I hope I'm not blocking my own light here, but let me see. I'm going to move this over here. There we go. Um, there's a little bit of pulp here. So little by little I'm getting it out. It's just, uh, there's plenty of seeds in here. Obviously plenty of seeds. But it seems to me that uh, some of my other my other seed pods have given me more seeds than this. But they are going to be ready for planting after they dry out a little bit. Like I said, you don't really want to put this wet pulp into... It probably would work, after all, that's the way it is in nature, but you don't want to risk any mold or mildew. But I'll just pull those out and it's going to sit on this paper towel a little bit of a messy process but it'll sit on the paper towel for a couple hours that's all it takes um, once you get it out of the pulp it doesn't take it very long to dry and then I can just sprinkle it in a little container on some soil and uh, cover it up so that the moisture stays in it's always good when you're germinating any seed that you keep that seed moist but I've sort of left this messy pulp in the in the middle here and pulled away from the pulp to get those seeds. And actually, they're already feeling pretty dry, the way they're rolling around. Okay, guys. Uh, the pulp has dried up somewhat, and I've come back to my seeds. And what I've done is I've rolled them all into a little pile on one area of the paper towel. And I'm just going to go ahead and pour those, 
trying to do this with one hand. So I'm gonna to try to pour those into a white bowl. Let me fold it over and bring it over here. We're just gonna pour those out. And I may have gotten a little bit of chafe in there. Like I said, in nature, it doesn't really matter. There's a few little green, they're either green seeds or green particles, but it doesn't matter too much. The, the main goal is to get off the sticky pulp. So there we go, we got a nice little set of seeds there, and now we can have the fun part. I've used a cereal bowl for my kitchen. Do you guys do that? Do you take your, your family's dishes and use it for your gardening? I just happen to like anything with a white background. It makes it really easy to see your seeds, but aren't those beautiful? That's what a gymnocolyceum seed looks like from that plant. So hopefully we're going to have lots of little babies to enjoy. So what I've done here is I've pre-moistened some seed starting mix. Here's the seed starting mix I'm using. It happens to be burpee, eco-friendly. So, you know, I'm hoping they've uh, had some eco-friendly practices in order to put that advertising on there. But you can use anything that the uh, main idea with starting seeds is that you have a light aerated mix. So that's why I I always have this in the house because I like to start a lot of seeds. But the little roots need a lot of air pockets to be able to spread out when they're tiny plants. So definitely use a seed starting mix. And I have pre-moistened this because the seeds are so small that I didn't want to water it after I sprinkled the seeds. Um, they could be displaced by the water and all bunch up at one side. So what I'm gonna do here is just take a few on my finger and pinch them over and spread them around rather randomly. And I'm just kind of pinching it between my finger. Let's sprinkle those around. Spread them out. Uh, thinking about how they would drop in nature out in the desert scape although this isn't very sandy soil, or probably not desert soil, but there's a lot of perlite in here. So I think the drainage is gonna be fine. And actually seeds, all seeds, even cactus seeds, do need to have a certain level of moisture in order to germinate. If they dry out at all during the germination process, there's a few more, so I'm just gonna pour them on top. If they dry out, it's really gonna hinder the process of germination. So all my seeds have been scattered out from my little seed pod and I'm going to cover it now. You can do this with a plastic bag. I'm just going to use a Tupperware. I have it in a little bowl just because there was water dripping out but it's really working out to make a, a, make a uh, makeshift greenhouse here. So what I'm going to do, I would not do this in the middle of summer. It would be too, too hot to do this. But I'm going to find a sunny window. And I'm going to put my little makeshift greenhouse in the sun. And now, let me put the mother plant next to it. And there we go. So I'm going to keep you posted. I hope that these seeds that I've harvested and planted today will sprout and um, wish me luck. Okay, so through the magic of videoing, two weeks later, look what we've got. All of these little seeds sprouted. So many little gymnocolyceums. They are just adorable. They're about as big as a pencil dot. But uh, I just looked in there this morning and realized that all of the seeds have germinated. Look at all those little babies. I hope you can see it. I'm trying to get it in a ray of sunshine. Um, this is the first day that's been sunny in a few days. But I basically just sprinkled these seeds on top of the soil. And it was uh, wet soil. has a lot of moisture in here. I think they're so cute. And 
and uh, I made this makeshift greenhouse and set it by a window that got some sun and look at these little babies. So guys, it's just as easy as that and I'm going to enjoy growing these much bigger this summer. There you go. I just added to my cacti collection. Thanks so much for watching and for subscribing and I hope you have a chance to do something fun like this. Bye.